Hi, I'm Tim Giles, and welcome to my South Lab. This is a Wild Circuits video, and today I'm going to talk about my electric mountain board project. I picked up a cheap hoverboard off Craigslist, and I was able to harvest the hub motors and the battery. I've got them here paired up with uh, 350-watt e-bike speed controllers, cheapos from China, and they're all mounted on this plywood plate here, held together with flexible filament 3D printed brackets. The flexible filament is nice because it helps absorb vibration and uh, is also protecting the casing on the battery because it's such a, a rubbery compound there's no abrasion to it. I have my power switch mounted here as well as the original charge port from the hoverboard and I'm still using the hoverboard's power supply to charge the thing. All the wires travel through this hole that I had to drill on the board and out front you can see I upgraded to an MBS matrix truck. This is really convenient because it has removable shafts. So I was able to pull the shafts out and drill out the holes to 16 millimeters for the hoverboard drive shaft and reuse the brake hardware holes as set screws to hold all the motors together. Relief holes are drilled to let the wires pass through and I have a little 3D printed skid plate here. Um, you can see the throttle cable coming up from the back side so this is an MBS Atom 95X board that I chose to build this on. And I really like it because you have a physical brake. When all else fails, if everything gets out of control, you can still stop because you have a hardware brake. Um, up here I have my thumb throttle mounted, which is just a standard e-bike thumb throttle, which is compatible with these speed controllers and this is all tethered through a nylon cable so in the event that you have to bail things are out of control the board isn't going to run away from you because you are still physically connected to it so I've got about 30 miles on this design I'm really happy with it I have a, about a 4 mile range on a full charge and a top speed of 11 miles an hour which is a pretty comfortable top speed for going on city sidewalks and uh, and busy streets. Also the hub mortars are really torquey and on, on inclines they really pull you uphill quite nicely without slowing down much. So that's my build, why don't we see it in action? 